Welcome to another amateur hour. Today I'm going to be trying not to screw this up. This is the tailstock from the Bradford lathe. I'm going to be trying to disassemble it and uh, get it cleaned up. It's pretty massive, so I'm going to try to disassemble what I can off the top here, and then I'll have to get the lift over here to flip it over. I, it's just in a horrible position, just way too heavy for me to flip it by hand. So the last thing I want to do here is clean the underside of this, only to have all this gook fall off onto the bedways or somehow get back underneath there. So I'm going to clean the top of this off first, and that's going to be boring. So I'll get back with you once that's done. Okay, so I got the ratchet assembly off here used to move the tailstock up and down. And this is what it was like underneath. So, I mean, either they took, either they took that section off when they painted it, or this is the original paint and color. Um, I've been trying to figure out what color I want to paint it when I'm done, and I, I really just haven't been able to come to any good conclusion about that but either way uh, I got this off I'm taking off anything else that comes off fairly easily and uh, I've got the bulk of the tailstock cleaned up uh, I'm not going to detail it because I'm, I'm going to come right back over and strip all the paint off anyway so I've got all the chunks off though for the most part um, and that'll keep me from dirtying up anything below it that I've already got clean so Anyway, I'll uh, be back with it flipped over. So now that I have access to the underside of the tailstock, I can clean these channels out. And uh, I got access to these adjustment screws here now. Um, and I can see where they screw in to shift the tailstock horizontally. Uh, I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'll probably end up taking this out and uh, cleaning in between it too. Um, but that's just because I'm an idiot. So I got the base and the tailstock separated. Um, this will make it a lot easier to clean. Uh, there were four shims, which at least from the outline, I can tell where they were. So I can put them back where they were, but you know, any type of alignment they were doing, it, there's so much crud in here. I don't, I don't know if they were in there for alignment or if they were in there just to tighten up the joint. I, I'm not sure, but uh, at the very least, they're still there, they're in good shape. Um, they just need cleaned up and we'll get to it. All right, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I got to clean in the base off of the tailstock and this was hand scraped by somebody who knows how long ago. I still haven't been able to figure out how old this lathe is, but you know, it's, it's pretty cool because this is probably the first time that anybody's seen this since the lathe was first put together. So the rest of this is going to be pretty boring. It's just going to be a lot of scraping and cleaning. Um, I'll get back with an update video once I get this mess cleaned up. And uh, until then, we'll see you next time.